These two never fail me. Not all life hacks need to be fancy. In fact, these two unassuming tools can be used to increase productivity, practice mindfulness, cultivate focus, and even decrease anxiety when you know how to use them. Simply a pen and paper. Have you ever found yourself unable to focus, attempting to navigate 25 million racing thoughts while you're in a conversation, continuously worried that you're going to forget to do something important, or unable to be in the moment without being bombarded by countless thoughts of everything that you have to do later? It could be because you're using your limited working memory capacity to hold all of that information which is not what it's built for. Imagine that what you could hold in your hands was the full capacity of your working memory. If every thought was a marble, you could only hold so many before they would start to spill out, i.e. you forget things, or no more could actually fit, i.e. you're in a conversation and unable to process what the other person is saying because you're busy trying to hold on to all of these other bits of information that are non-relevant to the conversation. If your hands are full, how do you expect to be able to do anything else? Same, same with our brains. When we use the limited capacity of our working memory to store information indefinitely, it can start to feel full. Brain fog and fatigue can become our new norm and it becomes effortful to organize our thoughts. However, there is a hack that will make those frustrations a thing of your past, all using the simplicity of a pen and paper. For me, it is specifically this pen and this little notebook. Now there are a bazillion self-organization hacks out there, fancy apps and doohickeys, and I have tried probably almost all of them. And these two never fail me. The hack concept is simple. A thought comes into your head, you write it down. You're getting all of the information out of your working memory capacity and onto paper. This simple action alone can bring relief to your overworked noggin. Something you need to remember to do later? Write it down. A new idea you just thought of that you'd like to research? Write it down. Just remembered that forgotten grocery store item? Write it down. Need to speak with a colleague and the perfect way to phrase the sentence just popped into your head? You guessed it. Write it down. Now, the key to getting the most out of this hack. Where do all of those bits of information go? How do you deal with them? You have to have a system, but more importantly, you have to have a system that you trust. So you know that you will remember what you need to handle and when you need to handle it. This system can also be simple. All you need to do is spend a few minutes at the end of each day, putting each item that you captured where it needs to go. So you put the date specific items in your calendar, you write out those key discussion points and you put them in people specific folders. You create a dedicated grocery note on your phone so all of the items are in one place. And you set alarms for the time sensitive items. This is a minimum execution of a much more elaborate system, one GTD, which I cannot recommend highly enough. To call it a revolutionary organizational system would be an understatement. If you're at all interested, I would highly recommend that you check out David Allen's Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity. I've popped a link for you in the description below. I have been on the hunt for an organizational system for decades, and this book has truly changed my life. As per your requests, I will be sharing more about it in future videos. For today, here are five ways that you can use these two tools and the very basic system right now to be more productive, focused, efficient, present, and no longer wading through all of that brain fog. Number one, do a mind sweep or a brain dump at the beginning or the end of every day. Once you've gotten everything, and I mean everything, no matter how small, irrelevant, or random it may seem, out of your head and onto paper, the space it creates is magnificent, and knowing what you need to focus on will become significantly more clear. Number two, have these handy throughout the day and write down any thought that comes into your head. Anything that is taking up your precious working memory space, just write it down. Number three, have a pen and paper handy when you're working through a Pomodoro that you've dedicated to a particular task. Any thought that comes into your head, 
Anything that's unrelated to the task at hand, simply write it down. This way, you know you won't forget about it, it won't take up your precious working memory space, and it will allow you to return to your focus task. Number four, have a pen and paper handy anytime you're in a meeting and write down anything that comes to mind. This way, you can be present with the conversation. You won't forget any of your later to-dos, and you can write down any important notes that you'd like to contribute to the meeting. Now, you'll actually be listening. You'll be present with the conversation. Instead of trying to hold on to those various responses in your head waiting for your turn to speak, which is not really listening. And number five, one of my favorite creativity and tech detox methods, bring a pen and paper with you on tech free nature walks. When you know you have a place to write down anything that's important and you won't forget to do things later, it lets the creativity flow and it makes space for brand new ideas to come into your world. Plus, it gives your brain the space to process all the information that it already has and you wind up coming with solutions that you didn't even know you needed effortlessly. It also gets you way more present with what's actually true for you. Do I need to do anything with this thought? Do I need to write it down? Or can I just let this one go? If you're wondering if this is really pragmatic, I bet your cute little butt it is. Check this out. Purse, little notepad, pen. Oh, so easy, pragmatic, with you wherever you go. And it gets better. <laughs> Check this bad boy out. Fanny pack, notebook, oh, pen. So easy, mm, pragmatic people. And yes, I am aware of the epic level of my fashion sense for the record. The main point being it's tiny, it's unassuming, and it works. I know you're going to ask, Ace, can I do this on my phone instead of using prehistoric tools such as this ink staining utensil and parchment? Yes, yes you can. However, there is something to the act of writing instead of texting or typing, which helps us unplug, even if just for a moment. And we use different areas of our brain when we are physically writing versus when we're typing. But truly, you do you. What's useful is getting the information out of your head and onto paper, even digitally, which is way better than keeping it stored in your working memory. The one non-negotiable key to this hack being truly beneficial, and I cannot stress this enough, is that you actually do something with these notes at the end of every day. Otherwise, you just have lists on lists on lists and that will stress you out. A quick, dedicated five minutes at the end of each day to put everything that you capture in the place it needs to go can give you countless hours of focus, presence, productivity, and efficiency throughout your entire week. Alrighty. There's your hack, a simple strategy for way more ease. And that's what we're all about. <laughs> that was way too much fun. <laughs> if you'd like to check out how I came to realize the true depths of this hack while portaging through remote expanses of the great Canadian wilderness, head on over to the blog for a delightful read. And of course, there's a link for you down below. And just remember, life is actually supposed to be fun. Using simple hacks that work make that way easier. And that's what we're all about. <laughs>